is Friday, December 10th. Let's play the Booster Box game, Innistrad Crimson Vow Edition? Wait a minute, we already looked at Innistrad Crimson Vow and played the Booster Box game. Oh my goodness, it's Booster Box Game 2, The Revenge! I'm about to open up a booster box of Innistrad Crimson Vow and try and get $100 in rares, mythics, and foils. How dramatically have prices changed since the release of Innistrad Crimson Vow? That is one thing that might determine some very different results. If I can get $100 in those cards, I will sell them and go down to my local game store and use that money to buy another box. But first, a quick word about this video. This video is brought to you by no one. It's not sponsored by anyone. Let's open up Innistrad.
Oh my God, what a surprise. I'm so shocked that we didn't make it to another box. Wow, there's a big, there's a big surprise. So I have one more box of Innistrad Crimson Vow. This one was given to me as a gift and I'm going to open it up and go through it, but I will keep the packs off camera separate and individual so that I can still draft it with my friends. However, that means this is the final box. And if I get to $100, I'm not selling the cards and I'm not buying another box because this one is meant to be drafted with my friends. I'm just curious what factor variance plays. It's just a game, buy the singles you need for the decks you want to build. But we are looking at one last Innistrad Crimson Vow box now.
Oh my god, what happened? What happened to Innistrad? Boy, are they just cranking it out too much? There's another Innistrad set coming out in January. It's it it doesn't look good. Uh I I I don't know what's going on here. I know what's going on. Uh no one's playing standard or drafting. And uh, so there's no value in standard cards or draft. Though people are buying the $20 to $25 standard packs, the collector boosters. I don't know why people are buying those, but that is also driving down the price of foils and individual cards. So if you are looking for a cool commander from Innistrad Crimson Vow, then you can probably pick it up for cheap. If you like Runo Stromkirk, you can sign up to be a Patreon you can sign up to be a patron at the signed card level, and I will send you a signed Runo Stromkirk for the month of December as my thank you to you for helping keep Talarian Community College going and growing strong. But no matter what legendary or other that you want from this set, chances are it's probably available at a pretty low, reasonable price right now, so I don't know that you should be buying booster packs unless, of course, you intend to draft with them. Buy singles. Thank you once again to sponsor of this video. Well, you, I guess. This video brought to you by you. So no advertisement, except for the mid-ad break from YouTube. But you know, that really makes, it makes the video like get suggested more. If you don't, I've heard, if you don't put that little middle break thing in and you can, YouTube isn't friendly. So I did it for survival and the money. It wasn't much, but it was something and I liked it. And I spent it on cards. So I've got these cards now that I'm going to draft with my friends, and you should too. Thank you, YouTube.